Yeah! Stun, dude! What's good? Alright guys, Devin here with Garpco Bow Fishing. Today I'm going to do a little fish ID for you guys, for the people that don't know their fish, and for you beginners out there. The first three species I'll be doing are going to be your Asian carp. So I'm going to be doing a grass carp, big head carp, and silver carp. So species number one here is going to be your big head carp, part of the Asian carp family. Easiest way to tell if you're looking at a big head carp is, I wonder how. It's got a big head, okay? So their mouths are gonna be a lot bigger um, compared to your silver carp, which is gonna be much smaller. Um, they're often mistaken for, I'm not for sure how, because I'm talking they're big heads for a reason. They got big heads. Um, a lot of times their coloration on them, it could be speckled. As you can see in the video of this one here, uh, it's got black speckles all over it um, with that silver color. That's often how big head carp are colored. Uh, in the water, they're seen as something that's going to be kind of slanted up in the water column and they're going to be filter feeding on the top with their big mouths and it creates a big ring, it's them sucking in all the nutrients from the water and that's how they get their food. Uh, that's often phytoplankton and zooplankton. Next we got the grass carp. Uh, a lot of people know what a grass carp is. Uh, it's going to be a more of a greenish colored fish, very scaly, sometimes can have like a yellowish tint to them. Hey, they have no whiskers. It's going to be a much longer slender fish, but they do get really fat at times. But yeah, they'll be um, mostly up in the vegetation along the creek banks and stuff, just eating the grass and any vegetation that's following the water. Next fish we got gonna be your silver carp these are the fish that boaters hate they're the ones that are gonna be jumping out of the water going crazy what I found most silver carp it's gonna be around a seven to eight pound fish about probably about that in length uh, it's gonna look a lot of like a big head except it's gonna have that much smaller mouth like I said uh, it's gonna be mostly just completely silver real shiny looking fish very small scales with a scaleless head just like big head carp no scales on the head but yeah that's gonna be your silver carp next we're gonna have your long nose gars and just like the big head carp the name is very obvious it's gonna be a gar with a long nose these fish they got exposed teeth so watch your um, hands if you're gonna be handling them when bow fishing uh, they're very scaly fish their scales are genoid scales I believe they're called so they do not overlap basically armored scales is what they are but um, yeah it's gonna be that a longer fish real skinny body lots of scales dark greenish color next we have your short nose gar and as the name says it's gonna be a gar for short nose oftentimes it's gonna be about that long on average I'd say versus your long nose is gonna be more like that but yeah, it's going to be very similar to long nose gar. It's going to be have the ganoid scales where they're not overlapping. Basically, the armored scales. Um, same coloration as a long nose gar. The only major difference, like I said, is the nose. Next, we'll have your common carp. Common carp, they're often mistaken for a grass carp. But the major difference is that it's going to look like a grass carp, but have a slightly different coloration to them. Then they're going to have the whiskers or barbules coming off their mouths and that's the easiest way to know if you have a common carp versus a grass carp next we have your smallmouth buffalo you also have a largemouth buffalo and by the name you can just know a smallmouth will have a smallmouth and a large mouth will have a large mouth but a buffalo it's going to be more of a i see it as a more of an oval fish they're usually shorter and very plump it has a very tall body um, they're often more of a darkish gray black color and their mouse it's gonna be I believe it's called terminal where it's exposed out and it'll almost hang out and they use those mouths to suck on um, random stuff in the water such as rocks and stuff and they're just sucking off the algae and stuff and that's what they use as their food source 